Hi, this is Tristan from CardioCritic.com and this is my short video review of the new Polar H10 heart rate sensor. The H10 is the successor to the Polar H7 which is still available uh, and still comes highly recommended by me. Um, in a minute once I've gone through this very quick review you'll know why you might want to buy the H10 because there's a couple of new features in the H10 that you won't find in the uh, H7. So just like the H7, it clicks on and off the belt. If you do buy a uh, H10 complete, you'll get it with the new style belt, which has got these little silicon nodules here that sort of prevent the belt from slipping down, which is quite useful if you're, uh, maybe especially if you're swimming. Um, other than that, the only other physical difference is it's got a click fastener now as opposed to the more traditional one which was a sort of a, a loop and a, a buckle that would clip in like that so this one has a snap fastened excuse me click like that that positions under about pretty well underneath your armpit so it's nice and comfortable okay so like all of the polar belts the h10 is comfortable now um technically it's the same as the H7 as far as it transmits in both Bluetooth and analog T31 coded, which means you can use it. Um, one second, let's give it a bit of a polish, which means you can use it with um, Android phones, iPhones, any number of apps, Strava, Endemondo, etc. etc. Once you've paired the watch, um, obviously, Polar want you to use the Polar Beat which is a, an app that I would highly recommend. Um, if you're training with your phone, then that's great. So, so far, we're, it does everything the H7 does, Bluetooth to smartphones, Bluetooth to watches like the Polar M400, V800, uh, M450, M460, two of their new products, etc. Um, I You can also use it to third-party watches like the Sunto Spartan. Um, it obviously can't be used with Garmin because the existing Garmin's are Ant Plus only apart from I think the Phoenix 5. So um, not to be bought if you're looking for a Garmin replacement strap, unless it's a Phoenix 5. Um, okay, so why have they brought this one out? They've surely not just brought it out because of the new strap. No, um, they've not. They brought it out because this is their first belt which is compatible with the GoPro 4 and 5 Hero Cams. So if you've got a GoPro Hero Cam 4 or 5 then the heart rate from this uh, will be compatible with the camera. So where you're um, out recording your sporting activities your heart rate will be overlaid on the screen for review later uh, when you're watching the video. So that's something you won't find in the H7. The H7 won't do that. That's a new feature for the H10. Um, the biggest difference is in the um, what in the belt in, in internally we now have a memory. So um, all of these belts have been swim proof, uh, the pet, the polar transmitters sensors, um, which has meant that they can transmit to analog watches in the water like the. V800 which will work for swimming, um, the A300 or some of the older series as well will take the heart rate while you're swimming being broadcast via analog to the watch. However, um, that's sometimes not possible, you know, people don't always have those watches. Now the beauty of the H10 is that it has an internal memory which can store up to 65 hours of training. So. If I get my app here, we can see in the app when I press this button up top here, it says either train with Polar Beat or save HR to sensor. If I put save HR to sensor, okay, so I'm now wearing the the belt, and now that I've got the belt and it's connected, this is where I have the option. Excuse me. I can either, as you can see here train with the polar beat which means the data will be saved locally into the app on the phone or save HR with sensor. So I'm going to do that 
and press start. And now this is this is the key to the Polar H10. I can now close up my phone, leave it there, and go and train. So now I'm off exercising. I could be doing anything for up to 65 hours. So I could be doing a uh, a marathon, an ultra marathon, triathlon, swimming, anything where I'm wearing excess clothing where the, maybe the heart rate sensor can't be um, transmitted clearly, Any, anything like that, the heart rate is being stored in the belt. When I've finished, I just come back, open the app, and then just press stop. This training session was very short. Do you want to save the session? No, I won't. Um, however, obviously, normally you're doing a real session that would then be saved into the Polar Beat. Now remember, Polar Beat is part of the um, Polar. I have two softwares. I have the Polar Beat and the Polar Flow. So Polar Flow your, uh, is your activity tracking and all of your exercise training data will, will be stored there. Uh, if you want to, you can configure this so it uh, automatically sends your data then on to, to Strava or other third party apps. So um, there we go, that's the Polar H10, which I'm currently just removing. It's popped for me at cardiocritic.com. This is my new gold standard. This is what I'll be judging all the other heart rate monitors uh, with if I want to be 100% sure I've got good clear accuracy I'll be using the Polar H10. So just to summarize it's Bluetooth transmission it's also Polar T31 coded so it'll work with old Polars. Um, it's compatible with the GoPro Hero Cam 4 and 5. It's totally swim proof. It has a battery life of uh, 400 hours from just one of these little CR2032 batteries. It's simple to remove the back you just literally pop it off there so there's no um, screw slot in the old ones used to sometimes have to screw them off which is a bit tricky and most importantly it has a 65 hour internal memory which means it is brilliant for people who want to swim or train without a watch or their phone in close proximity. Um, thank you for watching this is Tristan from cardiocritic.com this is the Polar H10 which will be replacing the Polar H7 I think um, I will just before I finish I will just say uh, a couple clear up if you're looking for a new polar belt for your old polar watch so if it's an old T31 wear link or something similar then you want this one the polar H1 this H1 just transmits in polar T31 analog so this works to gym equipment and old polar watches like the FT1 the FT11 the FT7 etc uh, etc et um, if you don't want the GoPro 5 uh, compatibility and you don't want the um, internal memory that you'll find in the H10 then go for an H7. The H7 is Bluetooth compatible and Polar T31 coded wear link compatible so it works with gym equipment and legacy Polar watches. Um, so if you want to save yourself a few pounds then the H7 is still a viable option. Okay thank you for watching. It's Tristan from cardiocritic.com. Cheers. Bye.